The same Nelly here, and welcome back to an episode of Star Fox Adventures! In the last episode, we rode on a bunch of different dinosaurs, and now we're gonna ride a freaking cloud runner. Oh yeah, we're gonna fly, dude! Alright, so let's get this show on the road. Hop aboard! The spouse home you seek is hidden below the Great Tower! To get inside, you will have to destroy the four spires that protect it. I will fly you in close, but you'll have to protect me from their fire. Okay, simple enough. So it's more aiming games. And we need to destroy some spires. Oh boy. Okay, so what we have to do is keep these things from hitting him. Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. A couple of them made it, I think. Yeah, he took a little bit of damage. But what we want to do is shoot down the tower. Didn't make it. Okay, so you might have to do a couple of rounds, but don't worry too much. It's not really that difficult. Of course, I say this now. All you have to really do is shoot down the missiles and then take that down as fast as you can. Didn't make it either. It'll probably take you about two cycles, maybe. Hopefully. If you're doing well, then maybe I'll take you one. I don't know. Apparently I'm having trouble taking it out in one cycle. But we'll see. Okay. We No, I did pathetic on that one. Okay, so button mash time. There we go. shoot them down and you'll get rings. We got rings a couple of times to do this fight, but I don't know how I did because I don't think I actually shot anything down. I shoot down this blue spit. Okay, come on. Okay, carefully. Don't want to get damaged. Now, I find this boss fight really cool. This actually feels like a boss fight even though I'm, I don't really have control of my movement. But it's 
actually really tough to get some shots on him, and my arm is getting tired. <sighs> Should probably just slow down my shots. Okay, there's two. Up, oh, there's one. Ring, awesome. Doesn't really recover that much, but it still recovers enough. Okay, where is he? There he is. Come on, bring it, bring it. Okay, where is he? This is intense, actually. Freaking humanoid dragon thing. You know, if I were Fox, I'd just aim for the wings. Just, like, shred his wings up so he can't fly. That would end this fight really quickly. Oh, S-Box. Awesome. Got it. Okay. And another one. I don't know how these are actually getting down here because those are supplied by Rob. I don't know how the heck Fox is getting his hands on those, but I will not complain. Okay. Oh, crap! I'm gonna get... No, I didn't get hit. Awesome. Ah, crap, I got hit. Oh. Doesn't really do that much damage, just like any other boss, but still. It's just the thought of getting hit, and many, many hits do add up. Really. I just noticed how cool his fortune on the bottom screen, on the bottom of the screen is, too. It is actually pretty cool looking. Come on. Die already! My arm can't take much more of this! Oh, shoot that down. Another S box there. Can I get it? No, I can't. Okay, where is he? There he is. A direct shot on him. And come on, he's almost done. He's almost freaking done. Come on, get that shot down. And boom! We got him! That's kind of gruesome. You did it! You got the last spellstone! Not bad! Not bad at all! Get that spellstone back to the ocean force point, and we can all be on our way home. There's an old friend we would all like to see. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. See you later. Thanks again, Fox! Good luck, my friend. All right, so, the final spellstone is in our possession. And now, we have to head back to Dinosaur Planet to put it back in its rightful place. But we need to fly there first, so I'll see you guys in a minute. General Scales cannot harm any dinosaurs ever again. You stopped his evil mutant army plan. This is the final spellstone, Fox. You need to get it back to the ocean force point as quickly as possible. With this seal closed, Dinosaur Planet will be saved. Pepper out! Force Point Temple. Yeah, you guys know the drill. Come here! Thank you! Like, wow, I even have a freaking map and I went the wrong way. Anyway, at the same time, a lot of this just feels kind of unnecessary. Like, this 
this maze. This maze really has no reason to be here. Like, it really doesn't. And it kind of does bother me, but at the same time, it's so pretty that I don't want to complain about it. And I guess at the same time, I really wouldn't care all that much, like, on a personal playthrough. But at the same time, this is kind of a let's play in videos, you know? It's kind of not video friendly, because I keep having to figure out how to get back there and not, like, waste people's time. Oh, well, I'm not really going to complain too much. I mean, we're already here. I mean, it's, it's just that pretty that we're already here, and all I did was rant about how long it takes. But, anyway... Welcome back to Cape Claw! Yes, we're finally back. Okay, so. First order of business is to take this guy out, actually. I wanna kill you. I wanna kill you. Kill you dead. Kill you so dead that you blast into a bundle of lights! Yep, I'm awesome. I'm just awesome like that. But anyway, if we come over here to where the Krozoa Palace, well not palace, but Krozoa Shrine was. Not Krozoa Shrine, Ocean Force Point Temple. Well, I'm thinking Krozoa because I see the Krozoa head. But if we look over there, the mouth is all boarded up. We have the Sharp Claw to thank for that. So we're gonna have to find a way to open that up. Which conveniently enough, if we look over there, remember the, ow, thanks. But anyway, remember that cannon that always used to shoot us and it was so annoying and I was just like, stop shooting me. Well, it's finally going to come in handy. So let's go ahead and swim over here. Stop shooting at me. Go in here. Bad guy. Kill this thing. So it stays out of my way. And now, looky here. It's a portal thing. Let's go ahead and open it. I love being able to take out obstacles in just one fell swoop. Can anyway, I take out the fire there? Come out here and we get control of the Sharp Claw Cannon. Awesome. So as per usual, just kind of do that. Fire away as much as you want. And take out the mouth. Awesome. It didn't take too long. But before you dismount this thing, what you want to do is point this cannon at the rock that's all the way over there. See, if we destroyed it. Now, we want to head on over there. It's kind of a well-hidden secret. And, well, yeah, it kind of is a secret, but if you have Rumble, which who doesn't these days, like, well, no, I I'm thinking N N64. I'm just like, if you have Rumble, and it's just like you had to actually buy the Rumble pack, remember that? Yeah, I was thinking of that. You no longer have to buy Rumble Packs. That's so old-fashioned to say you're showing your age. And, oh, it gave us a, it gave us a bomb dad, too. That's kind of nice. But anyway, if you just pass by the rock, your controller's going to rumble anyway. So it's not really a secret at all, but still. It's nice to say. Anyway, pick up some magics and collect the power-up. Awesome! This is a step energy meter. It increases the maximum amount of magic gems you are able to carry. Awesome! Look at how much energy we have. I can freaking spam anything I want to now. Alright, so I'm so happy we have that because I was running out of magic like nuts. Alright, so duck out of the cavern and it's daytime outside. Yay! Now we have to head over to the Krizoa head. Okay, up here. Actually, I think I need to head down there. Yeah, this is easier. Into the water and up the ramp. Gotta love how conveniently placed that that cannon was. Even though, you know, I really think he could have just burned that down with his flame power up or had Tricky just burn it down because, you know, fire, wood... If we kind of go up in flames, and it's not like this whole place is going to catch on fire because it's really damp and made out of stone, so I don't really see what the problem there would have been. So I guess there was another way around it. It's just Fox isn't really all that smart enough to figure that out. I'm so nice to Foxy, aren't I? I'm a Fox hater. Well, not really hater. I like Fox. I like Fox. I, I really like Fox. I just like to make fun of him in this game particularly. Anyway... Here we are. Ocean 
Force Point Temple. I'm so excited! I love this place! This place is so freaking pretty and I love it! The music is awesome too! Anyway, let's go ahead and head up here. One flight of ladders. And two flight of ladders. So excited to go into the Ocean Force Point Temple, dude! Love this place. This place is so pretty. Anyway, we are here with the final Spellstone. And in the next episode, we're going to be heading down there and placing it back to its rightful spot. I will see you guys next time. Messina out.